All right, how's it going? So just the other day, I mean, this is a very, very hot issue. And maybe I didn't realize it was that serious until actually the date. But you got to realize what this man really stands for, how big his persona is. Okay, everybody that loves NBA, even outside of it, okay, uh, likes this guy and knows it, uh, knows him. Okay, Jay, Jay Morant. Okay, point guard for the Memphis Grizzlies. All right, has been. They initially it was a two game suspension, but now he has been suspended indefinitely. Okay. Probably for the rest of the season, more than likely when I say that. I think that you will play again, okay? But I believe after what what happened with all the and with all the the media that this guy is getting, okay, for the press. I'm listening to this guy, like uh, other podcasters talking about it. It's plastered all over, like you know, like ESPN. Even on this radio, okay, I got uh, Sirius XM. They talking about it on, on like you know the NBA channel and even other networks like the NFL channel, okay, uh, Mad Dog Sports and all that. If you listen to them channels, okay, I think just think that the with the the feedback, it's just so immense, okay. I guess the between the NFL and the league, that's what I'm thinking that they're looking at this guy as a characteristic. I'm going to tell you something, okay? I think that if you become a characteristic, if you become, it doesn't matter if you play sports or you are on your job or working in the corporate world, okay? I think if you become bigger, all right, then wherever section that you work or the your name, Okay, anytime your CEO or your station manager hears about you, okay, unless it's good things. But the same in the sports realm, all right, then they're going to get you up out of there for a while, all right? And I I would think that if he will be back, then it, it's a blessing for him to be back because playing professional sports is a privilege, okay? It's not a right. But some people, I think, when they get to a point where they start getting the fame and they start getting the money and all that, okay, then they start thinking they, they're invincible, even for a lot of these guys that retire. Even if, you, you know, you have a lot of success. I made a, bit, a lot of video about Will, Willie McGinnis and Brett Favre, okay? Yeah, Brett Favre too, okay? Both those guys are under scrutiny. All right, so uh, Denver police is investigating that incident. I guess he did a uh, of him showing a like a, it, it may have been, appeared to be a toy gun at a club that a, they went after a game that they played against the Denver Nuggets. Okay, uh, right now as we speak. Okay, uh, to where uh, I guess until they could you know figure out. I don't know, to get the matter resolved. In the midst of all that, I've heard the coach in a press conference uh, speak that he did admit, hey, you know, that he was wrong and they're going to try to get him the help that he needs, okay? But I think that he needs some harsh, loving truth, okay? Uh, it'd be like, hey, you know what? This is the deal. You're the face of the organization. You, he's a father now. Okay, and he's pretty much got the emotions of Memphis, you know, like at the palm of his hand. But then again, I think after this suspension indefinitely, it looks like to me that I just think he's probably not going to be in Memphis after this year. He will play again, but when you, they're talking about indefinitely, all right, then they're probably going to let him go. And quite frankly, I don't think that Memphis, since they drafted this guy in 2020, I don't think that they have done enough to get him the tools that he needs, okay, to get him the resources, to at least show that they could 
maybe be a second round, maybe third round, okay, which is the Western Finals uh, potential team, okay, because they put so much, you know, invested so much uh, resources and money into this young man, okay, which they're probably going to end up taking that extension off the table. I think that he'll be better off with another team. Because if you look at the West, they're stacked anyway. All right. They got Golden State, Phoenix, Dallas. Uh, who's that? Golden State, Phoenix, Dallas, and the Clippers. All right. Those teams are probably going to play at it, you know, in the for the West to go to the Western Finals. That 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 conference is already stacked anyway. I did just think that he'll be all uh, better off with another team, at least 500. I'd say at least maybe Toronto. Or I don't know, perhaps maybe the, the Knicks or maybe even the Heat. Okay, where they a team is good enough probably in the first round, okay, that they can go without him. But he can with his energy and his vibrance, he and the scoring, he could take a team probably to like the, the finals or even the championship. Okay. So I just think that he probably belongs in a better place anyway. Yeah, okay. But, so John Morant suspended for a year. So it's one of the things that I just think that if you find yourself in a situation like that, you also need to look at what you have in state, okay? What you, if this, if you have a family or you have a career, that type of stuff, okay? Or if you're going to get a blessing or you already have your blessing. Just remember what it took, all the hard work that it took to get there OK, and you come across something that, you know, that's not right. Is it really worth putting that all that at stake? Just think about that. 